The streets are calling my name. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am summer 2021. I see you, girl. She is right around the corner. She feels like she's here. Basically, in Atlanta, the hot air has arrived. Spring is like long gone. It basically feels like summer here. So I've already been reaching for summer-esque products. So yeah, I just wanted to share my favorites with you guys that I think would be amazing for you to cop in preparation for summer to make sure that your hair, skin, and your makeup is just gonna be on fleek all summer long. I'm literally like, Ooh! all the products I got in front of me, I'm obsessed with. So I can't wait to share it with you. Let's just go ahead and jump straight in. All right, so let's just go ahead and start off with hair. I feel like in the summer months when it's like really, really hot, you can deal with a lot of frizz, especially if you're like me in Atlanta in a place where it gets really, really humid. Frizz is definitely a huge issue. You can also deal with a little bit of dryness and just also damage as well, like if you're going swimming a lot or if you are getting heat damage from the sun, which is actually a real thing. So it is very, very important to make sure that you're keeping up with your weekly deep treatments, sis. And I'm always preaching it to you. This is not just a summer thing. You should be doing this year round every single week, but just like especially in the summer if you're wanting to make sure your curls are staying nice and defined and juicy. So I have two treatments that I actually want to share with you guys. You probably can already guess what one of the treatments are going to be because I mention it so often, but it's literally that good. So Boom, comment below if you guessed it. Comment below if you literally thought in your mind, Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Because I know you guys know about it. It's so good. So the reason why I wanted to specifically suggest this for the summer is that it is a strengthening treatment. So it does have protein in there, but it is one of the most moisturizing, strengthening protein treatments I've ever used. And so that's why it's gonna be really beneficial for the summer because you will not only be able to strengthen your hair after like putting it through heat outside and swimming and all that stuff, but it will also give you some moisture back as well. So it's like that perfectly, it's the perfect balance between protein and moisture all in one mask. So it is, mm, I just love this. So for my girls, especially if you're like me, you have colored curls, especially, especially if your colored curls are actually bleached as well. For my people who tend to straighten their hair a little bit more often sometimes, and you're trying to rock your curls throughout the summer, you might have a little bit more damage that you gotta deal with. So something like this that is a reparative mask that still offers moisture at the same time is amazing. Y'all already know how I feel about Rio Geo. I do still have a coupon code. You can use my name, Alyssa, on their website, riogeohair.com, and you can get a discount on your purchase. But this, bomb.com. I will go ahead and say the entire Don't Despair Repair line is good. So if you try this mask and you absolutely love it and it's, it works for your curls and you need to use it to continue to maintain the strength of your curls, definitely go ahead and check out the rest of the line because I'm, I'm obsessed. I will say, and I think you guys at this point know that because I keep mentioning it. The second treatment that I wanted to mention is probably going to be more for my low porosity people or my people who tend to have like healthy hair you don't necessarily need to kind of reach for that protein all the time this is the bread beauty hair mask and it's just a creamy deep conditioner it literally says on the packaging as well it is four curl types 3a all the way to 4c so this is for us super curly coily girls this is made for us and it is just straight moisture that is what it is it is a thick creamy juicy mask and when your hair is dehydrated from the hot weather, this is what your curls are going to absolutely love. It is, it is amazing. It's quite amazing. Also black female owned, you guys already know about Ryugio, but Bread Beauty Supply is also black female owned. So if you have hair that is just dry, it's just a little dehydrated, and it just needs to be packed with some deep conditioner, this is it. This is it, this is it, this is it. And especially if you're protein sensitive, you're definitely gonna wanna reach more for this. So my summer is gonna be looking like rotating back and forth between these two because I do have colored hair and I like to make sure that I'm doing my protein treatments at least like once a month, maybe sometimes more depending on what my hair is saying. Um, but on the times when I'm not using this, this is what I'm gonna reach for, for that like, mm, for the juice, the juice. This is like, it's just gonna give you the moisture that you need. So 10 out of 10 recommend 
recommend. And in speaking about wash day products, I also wanted to mention a really great shampoo. I feel like in the same way our skin on our face and even our body as well can get a little bit irritated and just a little bit out of whack when the weather changes. It's like hotter, you're doing more things, you're probably sweating a little bit more in your scalp as well. You're gonna wanna reach for a shampoo that's actually going to cleanse but also still offer moisture for your hair so it doesn't get dried out and also will nourish your scalp. My favorite is another black female owned brand, Adwa Beauty. This is their Baumit Moisturizing Shampoo. It has Baobab, Wintergreen, Spearmint, and Peppermint oils up in there. This is literally my favorite shampoo specifically like especially for my scalp because I just feel like with all these oils in there it just feeds the scalp and you can literally feel it as you're using it and then even as you rinse it out you just mm. so it's like cleansing moisturizing and nourishing all in one step so I absolutely love this you're really gonna want to avoid any shampoos that have sulfates in there because that's really gonna further strip your hair and make it even more dry and dehydrated in this summer heat so 10 out of 10 recommend sulfate free nourishing and just I can't even say enough good things about it it also smells amazing so those are just a couple of my wash day go-to's now let's talk about wash day styling if you are a wash and go girl like me then there is one gel one gel that I need you to purchase for yourself this summer. Um, this I from the first time I used this gel, I have actually not used another one yet because I'm that impressed. You guys saw I went for a while like mixing gels. I went from mixing gels and mousse and double gels, but this gel literally does it all for me. I don't use it with any other like hold products because it does it by itself. It's beautiful. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know which gel I'm gonna talk about because I've kind of been obsessing. But, oh my gosh, guys, I just noticed that all of my hair care items are all black female owned. Uh, yes, I absolutely love this. But the gel I'm talking about is Bomb Ass Pro Curl Defining Hair Jelly. This is this is amazing. I got another one in my closet right there, just sitting and waiting because I cannot live without this gel. Casey, also, we have very different hair types. Her porosity is high. I feel like I'm more mid porosity. She has very like springy, spirally curls. Mine are very like S shaped and like not spirally at all. So I feel like we have very, very different types of hair. But she saw me post about this. She purchased it and did a wash and go and I've literally never seen her curls pop so much and just going on the bomb ass for website as well just seeing like the range of people that or the range of curls that have used this gel and just look bomb it's amazing it's amazing and that's like the most that I can say about it it just gives you everything that you need okay exhibit a this is seven days okay this is day seven hair which is why it's kind of clipped up a little bit but I did use this gel and can you see the curl definition of course we're frizzy but let me tell you there's no other gel that could have taken me seven days and have me looking like this I'm specifically recommending this for summer because it does leave a little bit of a hard cast that is easily crunched out once it's fully dry and then boom the definition is just there it just it doesn't go away so I love that I love extra hold in the summer again because of the humidity and all of that stuff and I can tell you like I've used this so many times now gone on walks outside with Hershey in the humidity and the curls are still on fleek Okay, that's that's all I have to say. This is the best gel that I've ever used. I will go as far as seeing that. Are there still gels that I absolutely love? Yes, but this is number one. So the last hair product, it's not really a product, it's more an accessory that I wanted to mention to you guys is from The Wrap Life. So I'm living for headbands lately. Um, even with my braids, you guys saw me use this actual head wrap to style my braids in a nice little wrapped up bun. That was really fun, but obviously you can use this in so many different ways. You could even wrap this around your body and make it like a really cute crop top. Like there's so many different ways, but especially for hair, this just gives you that like islandy, almost like African chic kind of vibe. When you wrap it up, you could put your hair in a pineapple, get it out your face, off of your neck, but still like look really cute. It's a vibe and just, I just love it. I just love, love, love it. The Wrap Life actually has 
a ton a ton of different types of wraps on there so I'll tag this specific one and the color and everything I'll tag that below in the description box but definitely check out their website they have literally so so many but I specifically I really love this color and let me give you guys a little close-up it's like a ribbed fabric hold on let's get this camera do you see that it's like a ribbed fabric and then it's also super super stretchy so there's just so much that you can do with this and it's like perfect to kind of dress up or like style up an updo where you just need your hair off of your neck out of your face out of the way but you still want to look cute you know you still want it to be a vibe this is it head wraps for summer 2021 i'm telling you so that's gonna be it for hair let's go ahead and talk about makeup now for me my preference in the summer months i really honestly i'm not even gonna say just the summer months but generally my preference for makeup is lighter i still want to look flawless but i don't want to feel like i have a caked up fully glammed face every single day. I really, really love the more natural, no makeup makeup, like skin finishes, a nice glow, and that goes for especially over summer when it's hot outside. I don't know about you, but I do not want to be sweating off a fully glammed out face every single day. I just don't. So that is kind of my vibe for summer. So let's first actually talk about brows. Sephora has done something very special and done something very amazing that I am actually extremely excited about because they've created a waterproof brow pencil that not only looks bomb, I have it on right now, but it's also waterproof and I actually tested it. I filmed a video, it's actually in the last video, I was wearing my Sephora brow pencil and when I was in the shower, doing my wash and go, doing my hair, of course water and product is flowing down my face, but what didn't ever wash away? My brows, they were still there. You can go back to that video and check it out. So that's really dope. I honestly saw waterproof on the pencil and I was kind of just like, mm, but is it really waterproof? And it is, it's pretty, pretty good. Like it's, it's pretty, pretty good. So I would definitely suggest, and it's only 12 bucks, which I really, really love. So what is it actually called? The pencil is called the Sephora Retractable Brow Pencil. And the shade that I use is 05 medium brown. I don't like super, super dark brows. I prefer a more like natural-ish kind of brown, especially because I have kind of like a lighter brown going on in my hair. Um, so that's what I have on. And then I've actually also been using this Kosas brow product on top as well. And this is just basically like a tinted brow gel. And it's just the combination of these two is just so... It's just so good. Look at how good my brows look. The thing I also like about this pencil actually is that you don't have to skimp on quality. It's really just creamy when you put it on and it's also very, very pigmented. I've used a couple of like cheaper brow pencils before and I found that the, the color just wasn't really showing up in my brows or it looked a little bit faded or weird. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but this is pigmented, it's creamy, it goes on good, it brushes out seamlessly to give it like the natural brow effect, and it's waterproof. Like, what else, what else, what else could you actually ask for? Bomb.com. So that's how I'm getting my summer brows without having to risk them ever rubbing off. So next, we should talk a little bit about complexion. So, Fenty Ease Drop. The hype is real and I'm just gonna say it. The hype is real. I personally love this stuff. It's actually what I'm wearing on my skin right now and <sighs> I just think it's the color match for me. It's, I wear shade 14 and it just, it's perfect. It is literally perfect. I also love the finish. I just feel like it gives you that blurred skin that Fancy keeps talking about. Like it really does blur the skin. Um, and it gives like a little bit of a natural finish. So I like to go and wear like a really nice, super moisturizing, glowy kind of moisturizer underneath. Pop this boy on top and then boom, you have like a really nice, like dewy kind of look that is just so perfect and just delicious for summer. 
I will also say that it is buildable. So if you are like me and you kind of just like it light, you can do one um, layer and that's it. But if you want to build it up to like more medium coverage than just light, you also have the ability to do that as well. Another skin tint that I wanted to mention is this one by Ilia. It's the Super Serum Skin Tint with SPF 40. I usually don't like products that are mixed in with SPF because I have a preference for mineral SPF. But this is actually infused with a mineral SPF, which makes me so happy. It is also broad spectrum, which means it's going to cover you for all of the UV rays. And I love this as well. So in comparison with the Fenty Skin Tint, I will say this has a couple of like special benefits. So of course, there's the mineral SPF, but it's also infused with amazing skincare ingredients like niacinamide, squalene, and hyaluronic acid. So it's literally feeding your skin giving you insane moisture but also protecting your skin from the sun as well as giving you like a really nice even complexion. I will say though that this has a much lighter weight um, consistency than the Ease Drop. It also is a little bit more dewy. So if you have super oily skin, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for you. I would say maybe go in with the Ease Drop. But if you have combination skin like me and you like dewy skin, then this could definitely work for you. Or especially if you have like super dry skin, you're definitely gonna kinda wanna reach for this because it's got everything that your skin's gonna need to be fed to be moisturized, but also like make flawless. You know what I mean? It's, it's bomb. The last makeup product that I wanted to talk about is something that I'm also wearing right now. And this is a Bare Minerals Blonzer. So they're actually calling it a hybrid product between blush and bronzer. I'm especially obsessed with this color. This is the shade Kiss of Copper. Ugh, it's just, Give me all the peachy vibes, all spring, all summer, probably into the fall as well. I just, I am loving peach right now. Anything to do with peach, peachy lipsticks, peachy cheek products, like I just love it and this is giving it to me. It also has a little bit of a shimmer in there so it's not fully matte, which I absolutely love because again, I like a radiance, like dewy kind of complexion. So it's perfect for working with that and I just, I love it. It just gives me that natural kind of flush. Whew, I could literally talk about makeup all day, all day, but we're just gonna keep it at that. Those are my current like go-to makeup faves. I'm obsessed. You can clearly see that I did some shopping at that Sephora sale. All right, so now for the last, but certainly not least category, we are getting into skincare and body care stuff. So first, of course, we gotta talk about SPF. SPF is so, so important. And the reason why, basically, is because the sun damage you get now is not gonna show up until years later. So I am a big believer in wearing your SPF every single day, even when it's cloudy outside, okay? I also have a preference to mineral sunscreens as opposed to chemical sunscreens. They do actually work in two different ways. I did actually talk to a dermatologist about it and she was actually able to explain it to me. So chemical sunscreens actually get like absorbed into your blood stream and the chemicals in that sunscreen actually like convert the UV rays into heat and so that's how it protects you from the sun so sometimes when you're using chemical sunscreens you can tend to feel a little bit hotter because it's converting those rays literally literally to heat as opposed to mineral sunscreens which are also known as physical sunscreens they work physically which is why sometimes you have the issue with the white cast with them um, it literally like sits on top of the skin and just leaves like a barrier and it like reflects the rays away from your skin so the trouble with chemical sunscreens is because the chemicals do get absorbed into the bloodstream you never know like what is that doing to your body over time you know what I mean um, and for something that you're gonna be using on your skin every day it just me it's just my preference I don't know exactly what those chemicals are doing to me so I would just rather be on the safe side which is why I typically just prefer mineral sunscreens so my favorite one of all time it is a little bit bougie but I'm gonna tell you why it's worth it so this is the Murad SPF 50 it's called the full name is the city skin age defense broad spectrum SPF 50 first of all I love a high SPF, I just feel like the higher the number, the better. And also, broad spectrum is very, very important. You know there's like UVA, there's UVB, there's just different types of UV rays out there that have different levels of damage. When you get a broad spectrum SPF, that means that it is it's protecting you from all the types of UV rays. So that's what you always wanna look for when you are getting a sunscreen, just make sure that it's always gonna be broad spectrum, and this one is it. 
It's mineral, so we don't have any chemicals in here. This one in particular, I absolutely love, and I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip here where I have applied it to my face. You can see as I'm first applying it, it's kind of like, you, there's that white cast. That's the trouble with physical sunscreens. This is why some people absolutely hate them, and that's fine. Definitely use chemical if that works for you, but I have found that this one, if I just take the time to really rub it in, it ends up really blending into my skin tone and doesn't really have much of a white cast to me so this is what I've been using every single day and I know you guys have been asking about the white cast what is it like is it worth it do you love it I have also experimented with other physical sunscreens and nothing compares to this I always keep going back to this because I just feel like it's not as thick it's not as greasy and the white cast just kind of rubs into me I feel like a lot of physical sunscreens can tend to just feel like a thick layer on top of the skin but this one even though I know it is technically a layer on top of the skin it doesn't necessarily really feel like that it's just it does everything for me that I need so I wanted to suggest this for you guys if you were interested in checking out a physical sunscreen definitely definitely grab this but I will say that if you have yet to find a sunscreen like if you feel like this one doesn't work for you you feel like other physical sunscreens don't work for you use a chemical sunscreen don't just go without sunscreen because it's actually worse if you do that so just keep using your chemical sunscreens until maybe you find the right physical sunscreen for you but definitely try this one out because whew, I, I love it I'm obsessed I did want to mention one chemical sunscreen it is called like a safe chemical sunscreen it's reef safe and it is water and sweat resistant for up to 40 minutes so this is the glow screen body sunscreen I have actually yet to find a proper body body sunscreen that is a physical sunscreen I have used so many that leave me literally looking like a white ghost it's just not cute and I actually don't really go to the beach super often so body sunscreen is not something that I'm using every day so I actually feel okay that when I do need to use body sunscreen when I am exposing my body more to the Sun I am okay using a chemical sunscreen also mostly because I have yet to find a proper mineral sunscreen that will work for my body. So I did want to suggest this one. Again, love the fact that it's reef safe. But this is their glow screen and it's literally so pretty. So I'm going to show you how it is. My skin is already kind of a little, a little glowy because we moisturized over here. But this actually leaves like the most beautiful glow. You know that kind of glow that you like to have at the beach that is just like... Ooh, she juicy like this is going to give you that glow I don't know if you guys can see but it's just a really nice kind of sheen it's not glittery or anything like that it's just it's just glowy it is SPF 40 which is a pretty good level and so yeah this is what I'm gonna be taking with me if I'm able to get myself to a beach this summer I'm really hoping to because I'm a Caribbean girl and I miss the ocean so hard. I miss it so hard. But yeah, that's gonna be my go-to body sunscreen definitely for the summer. And speaking of more body products, I also wanted to talk about the Fenty Body Sauce. This is literally so good. So do you guys remember when they first came out with the body lava and it was kind of like really sticky? Did any of you get that? I didn't like it. I wore it once to a club and I was like, this is not like, this is not nice. But when I received the body sauce, I was very, very happy because I tried it and it is not sticky at all. I'm happy to report it's a very different formula and it is just so good. I also actually using it with their brush. So, so good, and I don't know if you guys have ever noticed. Oh my gosh, we're about to get real intimate here. Can you even see it on the camera? I don't really have like a fully even skin tone on my chest, on my back. I am like a little splotchy. Some would kind of call it like shifting clouds or whatever, but I've always had it ever since my adolescent years. I got it and it's just been there it's just a little bit splotchy it doesn't look like patches or anything like that it's just it's just uneven skin basically um, so I love the body sauce because when you put it on it does have a little bit of pigment so it then kind of just evens you out if you want a little bit of like a deeper kind of sun-kissed look you can go for a deeper color and it's just beautiful beautiful I will say be careful of putting it on your clothes it hasn't stained any of my clothes it just comes out in the wash but if you're wearing like a white tank like I am today like I wouldn't necessarily wear the body sauce with this because I know like potentially there will be like 
a couple streaks on the side here of brown and that's just not cute you know what i mean but definitely if you have uneven skin anywhere on your body like you will absolutely love this i've used this for a couple like ig lives when i wanted to wear a cute tank but you know like it's vertical so you guys can see like a little clavage and everything like i used it to kind of even out my skin and it just it works like an absolute charm so i really really love this once you give it time to kind of dry down it is like transfer resistant but it's definitely not transfer proof so if you're gonna rub up on somebody with a white shirt it's gonna come off just just letting that be known but when you have it on it feels very comfortable it's not sticky and I love it. Okay, so the last but certainly not least products that I wanted to mention on here are by Fresh. These are skincare products and I have absolutely been loving them. And these are their rose infused skincare products. Like, it's literally so good. Like, we're talking about actual petals in the products, okay? So sometimes what happens to my skin when it's hotter outside it just gets a little irritated and almost like a little bit stressed out just because it's like, I don't know, like why is it so hot outside, you know what I mean? And my go-to to kind of calm it down, soothe it, and kind of just give it back some moisture and just, just let it chill has been these rose infused products. So first, this is the toner. This is the one that I was showing you. Again, the rose is just nourishing, but this will also obviously help to kind of tone the skin and with consistent use, help to like encourage like an even skin tone. They also have rose infused masks, which are amazing. So this rose face mask is actually a rinse off one. This also has rose petals inside of it give this to focus boom do you see that it's jelly like i can't show you too much or else it's gonna fall out everywhere and i don't want to waste this because i absolutely love it but it is like just a really nice jelly mask and it just feels soothing on the skin you leave it on for a little bit rinse it off and boom your skin is nourished it's calm and it's so good they also have an overnight mask so this actually has two sides to it it has a gel and then it has a cream so you go in with the gel side first you let it sit for like a minute and then you slap on the cream and it is like mm, it's an overnight mask you sleep with it on and it is so oh it feels so good it feels so good and it's very very moisturizing it leaves your skin really nice and glowy and just plump and delicious obsessing over these rose infused products i not only love the way they feel on my skin but also the way they smell if you love like the smell of rose they just smell so good and it doesn't smell like an artificial kind of rose it smells like dang i'm actually putting rose on my skin it's it's that good so there you have it that is how i am going to be keeping my hair my skin my body just on fleek all summer long in this heat i literally believe in every single product that i mentioned to you so much it's just mm. they're all just so bomb so let me know if you guys have any additional questions for me you can comment those below and if you do try any of these products and you're absolutely obsessed with them just let me know like tag me dm me let me know i love to connect with you guys and i really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed filming it for you thank you guys so much for watching happy summer when it comes i hope you guys are able to find a little slice of normalcy a little slice of safe happiness this summer okay i love you guys so much and i will catch you in the next video bye